tell you what, there's enough bugs here. Not really midges or anything like that, but uh, lots of mosquitoes. Lots and lots of mosquitoes. Oh, not very good. <laughs> they keep biting me. Very nice. I've been hiking for a few hours and I've seen some beautiful things in nature. I'm hungry now and I think this might be the perfect spot right here. Surrounded by wonderful trees and a very warm forest. I think I might make a meal here, sit for a bit, and then continue hiking. Always carry water, whether you're hiking, wild camping, staying overnight, carry lots of water because you never know when you need it. When there is a stream out and about, you can always filter water, which is great. And the closest stream right now is a couple of miles up, up the hill that way. Um, I've got my uh, food. I'll tell you all about that in a bit. Uh, my little kit where I carry all my bits and bobs. I've got my knife again, lighter, some coffee, uh, utensils, uh, a little mini chopping board, um, a torch, a fire lighter, um, spare bin bags. Um, they're actually poo bags for dogs. Works wonders. Um, camera, batteries, etc. All in here. I got my little spice kit, which you've probably seen before. Oh, in there. I love this little thing. It's beautiful. It's a proper cotton canvas. Really well made. And then I have got my simple kit, probably one of my simplest, which I can simplify even further. It's my uh, backpacking, bike packing kit. And I'll show you what's in there. Thought that was tight. So I've got frying pan. I've got uh, a little shoved in there really tight. I've got my cup, collapsible cup. I've got these just when the uh, pot and stuff gets really hot and I'm holding on to it. Then it makes it nice and easy. I don't think I'm going to need that today, but I've got my stove in there, a lighter, another cup, which I can drink my teas and coffees out of, or cook some food in, and a 100ml gas stove. 100ml, 
100 grams more like. Ah! Mosquitoes, go away! So in terms of food, it's pretty simple that I've carried on this hike. Um, I've just done, uh, I would say, around about 12 mile hike. Um, and um, I've got three or four miles still to do. Um, and so uh, it's a long day and I'm finally hungry. So I've got some noodles there. Uh, I've got half an onion. I've got some uh, pesto that I've uh, made at home. This is uh, roasted peppers, some onions and uh, tomato uh, with olive oil and some herbs so roasted that and then put it all together and ground it down um, and then I've got some parmesan which I will add at the end and that just brings the flavor out incredibly you're wondering noodles I should have pasta well no this recipe that I'm making I've made it before and it's wonderful with noodles the egg noodles so uh, they are the crunchy hard type um, they're gonna do wonders I'll show you as I make it. It's very simple, takes a few minutes, yum yum. Because there's so much olive oil in the pesto, I'm just going to add some of that to the uh, onions and fry it up. So I haven't brought oil separately. Just the pesto in there, fry it up a little bit, add some water, put these in there, and then the parmesan at the end, and then the rest of this at the end. It's as simple as that. It's a wonderful recipe, especially for backpacking and uh, camping out. Smells absolutely amazing. Wow, that's a nice pesto. And the fresh onions frying through the um, pesto is just amazing. Beautiful aroma in this beautiful forest. On a beautiful day. And then I'll be adding the noodles to the water and let it cook with the pesto and the onions and add some spices at that point and then right at the end uh, I'll put the pesto back on uh, from uh, the container the rest of it and then parmesan oh I can't wait I'm really hungry now Look at that nice rolling boil. And then go the noodles. Let's put the second one in. Oh yes. I think I'll turn it down a little bit. I love this stove because it's got a regulator on it right down here. So you can regulate the amount of uh, heat you want pumping out so you can cook all kinds of meals I absolutely love that it's um, it's uh, one of my go-to stoves it's fabulous um, you can make gourmet meals with it you know keep it on real low you can simmer stews um, you can cook literally anything it is a wonderful stove it's uh, one of my favorites and one of my oldest as well actually so I'm going to add some of my wonderful spices. Very little salt because it's Himalayan salt and it's quite strong. 
dashboard. And then my fantastic homemade garlic mix, garlic and chili mix. That's good. And then some uh, whole black peppers and herb mix that I've got here, which is going to spice it up a bit more. Let's give it a shake. Ah, oh, yes. Have a look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. chopsticks I absolutely love them my wife gifted me these they were absolutely amazing mm, those are done and yes In goes the rest of the pesto. I keep hearing noises in the back, almost like this deer or definitely not squirrels, it's something else that keeps walking. And I think it uh, might be a deer or two. Look at that, put the rest of the pesto in there, it's just beautiful, the colours, oh yeah, and then in goes, not the dried leaves, but the rest of this beautiful parmesan, oh, oh yeah, parmesan lasts a long time outside, so, And this makes it nice and creamy. I just stick it all in there, really. Just let it melt a little bit. Give it a nice stir. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's give it a try. I am hungry, as I've mentioned about 10 times. Still very hot. Ooh. Mm. That's good. That is good. That is really, really good. Wow, I am very happy with this. The way it's turned out that's a great trail meal with everything in there we're looking at about 650 700 calories about 700 calories um, so it's very simple to make as you've seen me make it here within minutes although on video it seems longer um, so I fried up some onions in the pesto it's homemade pesto the pesto is red peppers tomatoes onions and all kinds of herbs with garlic uh, and then blitzed into a pesto and then I've put egg noodles medium egg noodles in there 
put some of that in there, let it boil down like a stew. So it boils down a little bit, softens up till it's uh, a bit al dente-ish. And then stick in more of that pesto right at the end and the Parmesan. And it is beautiful. Of course, I had some of my spices as well, which is the the herbs with um, the whole uh, black pepper and then the garlic powder with chilies um, and other bits in there. It's just lovely. It's so creamy because of the Parmesan. Mm. Honestly, you got to try it. I will. I will put the ingredients on the video as well um, so you can see it and uh, try it for yourself. It's easy to carry. It's easy to make. Um, it will last you, if you want the same portions, two evenings. It will last you for two days. Take, you know, some noodles and enough water, but also the pesto can be carried with you for a long time. And the uh, Parmesan can stay outside for a long time. This is good. I'm going to get stuck in, guys. I'm going to eat. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got to the end of the video and you're not a subscriber, then please go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And I am going to get stuck in. I'll see you later.